Hey everyone, Jason Hill here, and today we are going to make a family recipe. It comes from my wife's grandmother, Genevieve, who lived to be 100. And another little fun fact, way back in the 40s, she worked at the famous Mission Inn in downtown Riverside, and that's where my first job was out of culinary school as a line cook. All right, so let's get started on this yummy, yummy cheese bread recipe. And don't forget, if you're liking these videos, like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. That way you'll be notified every time we make a new video. Okay, we're gonna start by taking a six ounce loaf of French bread, and we're gonna just go down and cut it in half. Keeping your hand up away from the blade of the bread knife. I'm gonna grab a little mixing bowl, and we're gonna add chopped black olive. It's about three ounces followed by three stalks of diced green onion, and about three quarters cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese. And then now we gotta fold in a quarter cup of mayo. And then a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. And now we're just gonna gently fold this all together. And this is gonna be our spread. Olive cheese spread. All right, now we're gonna spread it on the bread. Let's get this mix onto the bread. It's a little messy, but that's okay. I like to get a generous amount on there. Make sure you go all the way to the edges. And now once you have your mix on here, we're going to take sliced habanero jalapeno jack cheese. Or you could do Swiss if you don't like the spicy. Okay, I'm gonna use my little convection oven and I've had it preheated at three, about 350. And if you don't have a convection oven, you can use your regular oven and go at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. This might only take 10 minutes in the convection. Oh my gosh, look at that. Push those bad boys in, wipe up my mess, and we'll chuck these in 10 minutes. All right, after 10 minutes, they are ready. Oh, look at these little masterpieces. Okay, I let them sit for a couple minutes, and then I just like to cut them at the bias into little Oh, about one inch thick pieces. Oh man, it's time to take a bite. And remember, like I said, if you're liking these videos, like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Let's give this a bite. Oh wow. I'm making these for the big game for sure, but they're good for any little occasion. Great snack, appetizer, wonderful flavors. That olive is really strong. Give this recipe a try. Let us know what you think. And as always, thanks for tubing in.